Today I'm doing a, a review on this uh, Zigbee uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, LED controller. I've got it jury rigged here to a nice LED strip. So 50-50 LEDs, RGB um, only. The, the unit is capable of um, five different um, formats of, of uh, uh, LED strips. It's also uh, Philips Hue compatible, H-U-E, to some extent. Uh, I've got it talking to my Philips Hue and I'm able to control it with my phone just perfectly. I can get it to change colors, turn on and off, dim and so forth. There are certain scenes that you have with Philips Hue such as daylight or relax or uh, autumn, such like that. It is incompatible with those scenes. When you, when you select those scenes, basically what it does is it shuts off. Additionally, I have it uh, connected so that I can control it with my little uh, Amazon Echo here. Uh, some other uh, some other things that I've, I've been using and reviewing here these other LED devices but anyway with the uh, with the echo I can actually tell it to uh, to do a number of things Alexa turn off the counter let's try that again Alexa turn off the counter Alexa turn on the counter here we go Alexa, make the counter green. Now we're green. Alexa, make the counter blue. Now Alexa, make the counter red. Alexa, make the counter white. I don't know how to set counter to that setting. Now there you see that's that's a that's a shortcoming of this device. Once you change colors on it, you can't get it back to full on uh, you know full on brightness uh, in in a color basically emulating white. This device here, first of all, the uh, the Zigbee is about thirty dollars. This device here, generic Wi-Fi uh, LED controller, which also has uh, uh, IR infrared capabilities. This device here works directly with Amazon Echo. It does not, I don't think it works directly with Philips Hue. But this device, I've got it installed up over here. Alexa, make the glasses blue. Alexa, make the glasses green. Alexa, make the glasses white. There we go. So you can see some shortcomings of this device. It just does not want to do what I really need it to do, and it's significantly more expensive than this device. Another thing about this, and the reason that I wanted to go with this device because it's Philips Hue compatible, is because of the entertainment uh, capabilities of the Philips Hue, where you can actually have the uh, devices follow uh, the beat uh, uh, to music. I've got Philips Hue lamps that do that. This device, supposedly Philips Hue compatible, does not do that. It recognizes it not as a uh, color device. It recognizes it as a white, uh, black and white device or something. So it does not work. So for the $30 and for the compatibility with the Philips Hue that this is supposed to have, it doesn't. If, if I was just going to use the uh, Echo, I would definitely stick with this for just general functions.